Speaker number seven, Randy Harvey. Lessons from Fat Dad. Lessons from Fat Dad, Randy Harvey. When I was seven, we drove to my cousin's for dinner and to show off Fat Dad's new car, a 1960 Ford Fairlane. I fell asleep in the back seat, and my folks left me sleeping as they went on up to the house. When I woke up, I stumbled out of the car and headed for the porch. I was surrounded by a pack of black and tan hunting hounds. My heart jumped, and then so did I, first to the trunk and then to the roof of his new car. Mr. Contest Chair, fellow Toastmasters and guests, I was frozen like a treed raccoon. I was bawling and screaming. The hounds were circling and howling. An ugly one-eyed dog clawed and scratched its way onto the trunk, its yellow teeth snapping and foaming. <gasps> I was standing in water. <laughs> it was mine. His claws screeched and slipped on the glass when I heard sun, and I dove at the voice to be caught in Fat Dad's arms. Safety was a flannel shirt that smelled of cherry tobacco and a thunderous bellow that scattered hounds like cottonseed on the wind. The next morning, Fat Dad was buffing the scratches out of his new car. I said, Fat Dad, I'm sorry you had to rescue me. He scooped me up in his big arms. Said, son, in life, sometimes you're the catcher. Sometimes you're the caught. When you love somebody, their trouble is your trouble. Fat Dad was my daddy. And that loving nickname, Fat Dad, has been handed down through four generations to the men in my family. When I was 16, Fat Dad bought me a 1963 Volkswagen Beetle. Wide tires, chrome wheels. I was driving it one sunny afternoon listening to Simon and Garfunkel on the 8-track. <laughs> Cecilia, you're breaking my heart. Humongous horsefly shot through the window in my mouth and down my throat. <laughs> it came back up, lodged in my right nostril. <laughs> what would you do with a horsefly buzzing in your nose, taking bites the size of Texas? I steered with my knees. Tried to fire that bug out of my nose. The car shot to the left, then it catapulted back to the right, chopped down Morrison's fence, sailing across their yard, right at Mossberger's fountain, where Mary Poppins stood, holding her umbrella, pouring water from a can. I hit that fountain so hard, I launched it like Sputnik. Mary Poppins hovered briefly. <laughs> then went down faster than a spoonful of sugar. <laughs> well, the Morrisons and the Mossburgers, they were a bit excited. <laughs> Not Fat Dad. He rode in like the cavalry, made peace with the neighbors. I sat on a rock in shock. As Fat Dad put his arm around me, I burst into tears. Shh! We can fix the fence. I'll buy another fountain. We can even replace that old car. Those are just things. But I could never replace you. Besides, the town will be talking about this for weeks. <laughs> the lesson? Love. Now, teenage boys, they don't always think about cars. Sometimes they think about girls. 
Fat Dad overheard me and my buddies bragging about our adventures with women. Not being the shy type, he joined right in. <laughs> Listen for a while. And then like ice water thrown on you in a cold shower said, Boys, real men love for a lifetime, not for a moment. Ruined the whole conversation. <laughs> But Fat Dad loved my mama when they walked in the garden or when they sat on the sofa. Their hands always seemed to find each other. And when mama was sitting watching TV, Fat Dad would come up behind her, wrap his strong arms around her, rest his chin on her shoulder, kiss her on the cheek. Oh, as a teenager, I couldn't believe old people carried on that way. <laughs> but Fat Dad's love was more than romance. When my mama battled the cancer that eventually took her life, Fat Dad, like a good shepherd, caring for a wounded lamb, fed and bathed, read and sang to her. And when my mama's sunset fell and turned to starlight, Fat Dad held her close, whispered words of love and faith to calm her fear. Fat Dad's love for my mama was a gift to my wife and children because watching him, I learned to love them for a lifetime. This year I had my first Father's Day without Fat Dad, and I miss him. But the lessons he taught me will last a lifetime. When you love, sometimes you're the catcher, sometimes you're the caught. When there's trouble, love rushes in, wraps its strong arms around you. Real men, well, they love for a lifetime, not for a moment. Fellow Toastmasters, the lesson is love. And I'm proud to tell you, my children call me Fat Dad.